this video I'm going to show you how to treat fabric so you can run it through the printer without having to use freezer paper or any carrier paper at all. So what you'll need, um, I've just got ordinary cotton muslin, it needs to be 100% cotton. I've also got a plastic bag down just to protect the work surface. Um, you'll also need some sort of baking paper to protect your fabric or more to protect your iron. And the magic ingredient is hairspray. So let's get started. So I've just cut the fabric without too many threads. I've got a couple there, as long as the leading edge doesn't have any threads. And then you get your hairspray and do about two or three coats. So that's one. That's two. Three. Probably only needs two, but I gave it three anyway. So I'll just remove the plastic and place it down on my ironing board. Then cover it with baking paper or parchment paper. And then with your iron, just iron it until it's dry. I have a dry iron, well, I should have a dry iron. I've got a dry iron there, just so it doesn't add any more moisture to the fabric that you're treating. I'll just lift this up and check it. I've still got a couple of wet spots, so I'll just keep pressing those. Still got a couple more spots. Now at this point you leave it till it completely cools. If you try to pick it up now it's very soft and pliable and it will lose its shape. You need to keep it as flat as possible. If you do happen to disturb and you forget about it or you accidentally wrinkle it or something just put the parchment paper or baking paper back over it and just heat it up again so it becomes pliable and it will flatten out. Then just leave it like that probably two, three, four minutes until it's completely cool. So walk away, have a cup of tea, do what you need to do so you don't disturb this. Then I'll take this up to the printer and we'll run it through the printer. So as you can see I have the fabric here, I've got my leading edge here that I'm going to put in the printer and when I carried the fabric I just carried it like that with an open hand just so it stays as flat as possible. So I'll just pop that in the printer. And I'll just press print. It's just going through the printer now. And there you go, that's, that's how it's turned out. And you, as you can see, there's no 
ink spots or it hasn't wrinkled the fabric or anything like that. Um, it's, it acts very much like paper. If I give it a wiggle, you might be able to hear that it actually sounds a little bit like paper. For those who want to make their fabric colour fast, um, if you have an inkjet printer, I have a recipe on crafter.org, C-R-A-F-T-S-T-E-R.org. I have a recipe there for homemade bubble jet set, so you can use, look that up and use that one. For those with a laser printer, um, I did an experiment and these are the results. So as you can see, this one kept its colour, whereas this one faded. All I did with this this piece here was simply iron it for about 30 seconds. Um, that's all I did and then I ran both pieces through the washer and dryer. So that's how you make your laser prints colour fast, is just iron it. Use um, a piece of baking paper or parchment paper uh, just to protect the iron and the fabric while you're heating it.